Bloggers Pow. Right, so it's time for four more PlayStation 1 shoot em ups. So, first off, we have Einhander. So, it's been a while since I've played this, and I do remember it being quite tricky, so you have to bear with me. So, you start with uh, selecting one of your ships. You have a few different models. We're going to go with the default one, the Endemion. Right, now remember, though, this is not just a normal shooter. This has a few different controls. Right, so that's shoot. That's always a good start. And you can pick up extra weapons for a surprise. But the devil's in the details, of course. Pick up a weapon, fire with another button, and then you can switch it to another configuration. It operates slightly differently, like this Vulcan cannon. On the top will fire forwards, and on the bottom will fire downwards. That's no, no big, is it? Oh, but this one here, spreader gun. Fire forwards on the bottom and backwards on the top. And you've got an ammo canister there as well, you can see. You will have that as a cannon. That's very useful. And you can collect up to three weapons. And switch between them with the shoulder buttons, like so. And you've already noticed the absolutely pumping techno going on here. That's a bit of spread gun, really. You can pick up um, mod um, duplicate pods for. Um, to increase your ammunition. And this wasp weapon is homing missile on top and a straight missile on the bottom. Now you can lose the weapons, you can take a hit to the weapon and it won't destroy you outright. But if you take a hit to the actual body of the, uh, the aircraft, that will kill you outright. I've got the spreader. So I'm going to stick the spreader for a while. Falcon cannon. Oh shit. See what I mean? Well, I lasted a bit longer than I thought I would on the first life. It's one of those games which, um, like I say, you have to get, the, get your. Uh, Get your groove back on. This wasp weapon is quite handy for shooting something in the background, like whatever that was. This is an incredibly long game to play through. Um, I think it, I don't think I think it's only about five or six stages, but it is. The stages are long and sometimes spectacular. Some of the later levels are 
try and set some screenshots are absolutely fantastic. Reaching the first boss now. I mean, really, what is that? I don't care, but it's awesome. And the cannon will shred through it all. Quickly, there we go. From right, so we'll move along for a bit. Stage two. See, there's a train in the background. Of course, we will be having a bit of a fight with that. Got some pen and ammo, because that'll be handy. Oh, we're being attacked. And the, the perspective shifts, but not in an annoying and convenient way, in a way that really, really uh, enhances the, the, the style of the game, if you ask me. Alright, let's take this train out. So these are my three key weapons here. The cannon, the, the Vulcan and the wasp. Also, it's worth noting this has quite a strong plot for a shoot 'em up. Um, I won't spoil it, but it's um, it's it's uh, interesting. And it's all there's no it's uh, it's only told through cutscenes that are very very sparingly. It's told by these reports you get from your uh, your base as you fly through. So yes, last life. We're still speeding over this train. So yes, this is uh, excellent. Uh, it's never been re-released. You, you're going to have to buy an original of this, I'm afraid. It's a shame because this would really does call out for a remake or re-release or something like that. Um, I'm not sure if it was released on PSN or anything at any time, but um, as far as I know, physical copies are the only way to go, and that's. Uh, not even a PAL region, it's uh, NTSC, US or Japanese only I'm afraid people, but if you get a chance to play it, do, it's really good. Alright, so next up we have Drop Zone. Which is of course a... Um, a conversion of the very, very, very old Commodore 64 game of the same name from 1984. Now, I know the other week I ranted on about how stupid it was that James Pond was converted to so many systems. And initially, I was of the same sort of impression. Why would you convert a game from 1984 um, from the Commodore 64 to the PlayStation? I mean, that would this was released in 2002 <laughs> so that's um like 18 years after the fact anyway that being said the difference is 
drop zone in its original Commodore 64 um, form was an absolutely cracking Defender clone. So I'm going to give this a bit more leeway because the source material is a is a lot more interesting than the well bloody Robocod. I am still rubbish at it. I was rubbish at the Commodore 64 version. And I just remember I've got to save little things rather than just shooting things. But, uh, um, oh, oh, there's a bad thing to start. Can you pick up one at a time? He can only pick up one at a time. But it, 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 it's a nifty game. Can't really complain too much about it. And it was a budget release as well. I mean, this, it, was, it was like a, well, probably a sub £10 price point or something um, in 2002. Because so let's, let's face it, 2002, the PlayStation was really on the way out. PlayStation 2 being released, and you're really only four years away from the. Um, PlayStation 3, which coincidentally is what I'm using to play this disc at the moment, because for some reason this this runs in a strange resolution to a PlayStation 2, which my um, OSSC and uh, capture card combo would not display the graphics. Very unusual. Hey ho! Oh, red mean. Oh shit! Red mean is there. Incoming NMR. So this is um. Interesting, I think. It is really is Defender. But one thing that's uh, interesting is um, Coding Genius and all round lovely man, uh, Jim Bagley, wrote this. Which is uh, always nice to hear. Wave complete. Attack wave complete. There we go. And if we get teleported somewhere else. So yeah, I'm not going to dwell on this too much because I am hideously bad at, at Defender style games. Oh shit. The boss? I've got these smart watches. Boss. So there we go. It's gained some extra points for a bit of individuality. Unlike all those versions of bloody robot. the kid. Is it dead yet? Yes, and now it's dead. Oh, massive explosion. Oh, and it drops a load of... Oh, that's interesting. So the next stage starts be by you destroying the boss and releasing all the... Uh, Little scientist wheel things. I think there were scientists in the 64 version. Oh shit! From the uh, prison ship and scattering them across Io and yeah. Well, I appear to have four more to rescue. probably not how you play Defender. That's probably not how you play Defender either. So there you go, um, Super Drop Zone for the PlayStation. Unusually British. Next we have Gunner's Heaven, aka Rapid Reload. A game which uh, I think only came out in Europe and Japan. I don't think it came out in the States this one, so that's uh, unusual. Right, so let's click to character Axel Sonic, so Ruka Hetfield. We're going Metallica. Now I'm cheating a bit with this one. It's not a traditional shooter. 
it's Gunstar Heroes on the PlayStation. Which is never a bad thing. It's not quite as good as Gunstar Heroes, but my god does it look like Gunstar Heroes, doesn't it? It really does. Shame it's not two players. That's one thing I will immediately say, even though there's two selectable characters, this is a one player game. It's very fast and lots of sprite work going on. Really, really good fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some kind of spe Oh, yes, that's right. You have got the. Well, because this is Gunstar Heroes, you've got the. Uh, select. Rather than selecting them straight off the bat, you, um, as, you, as you walk along, you can, you can uh, choose between the different types of weapons straight off the bat, which is good. I have no power, so they've all gone weak and horrible. Right. It does count down, even when you're not firing. There it comes. A knight! Even that's very treasure, isn't it? For some reason my power's not going down. Maybe it doesn't go down if you're fighting a boss. It be really, really nice if that was the case. Excellent. Boom. Every boss was crushed. On with the show. So it gets rid of those guns pretty quickly. Yeah, the key here is to keep swapping between the weapons because uh, obviously different weapons are, different, are better for different situations. But. Uh, Swapping between them quickly really does help you uh, deal with a lot of uh, the shit that's going on on the screen. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I do believe it's one life only, so I'm probably not far before death. There we go. We gonna continue? We go. Right, it seems to have picked up some sort of super power boosting, which seems to be quite nice. I wonder if it'll rare, there we go, it ran out. And we've got a boss. Oh look at that. Very patriotic sort of uh, robot thing that um, got his colour schemes mixed up. Not quite there, is he? You ordered the right colours but put them on in the wrong order. Oh, he's moving. Oh, that hurts a bit. Nearly done. It's nearly cooked. My badly patriotic friend is toast. Area boss was crushed. It's 
So yes, rapid reload, Gun and Seven, whatever you want to call it, is a fun tribute to Gunstar Heroes, which isn't quite as good as Gunstar Heroes. I do recommend having a bash if you can pick it up. It's not going to be cheap. These things never are, are they? I don't make the rules. Right, this is Night Raid. Um, I've not played this. Um, I borrowed this off uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Warden74, um, a couple of weeks ago. I just got around to thinking about playing it. So uh, let's have a look. So there we go. We're going to go with Arcade. Tutorial. Okay, there's shooting stuff. Collecting stuff, shooting stuff more. Oh, let's skip this. Oh, crazy backgrounds. Collecting stuff probably means bonuses, prizes, microwave oven. Who knows? It's got that, um, I, I, no, I was, was going to say they're digitised sprites, but they're not, I think. For the most part, actually polygons. Maybe a mixture of both, I don't know. Hard to tell. This is another quite late um, PlayStation 1 game, 2002. Oh, I see, we're getting we're collecting the uh, triangle pyramid Toblerone pieces does power your weapon up and I'm sure that is a big power up yep there we go it's huge yeah, it's a quite a large boss but it's not doing a great deal yet oh there we go spoke too soon didn't I let's try a smart bomb or a zingy thing wow okay that's cool oh and I died wow intense There's a lot of shit flying around on this screen isn't there Oh, it's going a bit bullet hell now. Oh, crap. I'm not good at bullet hell shooters. I should really do that 360 shooting ups video that I've been planning to do for the last two years. Oh, God, I'm dying all over the place. another thing. There's a lot going on here isn't there? Holy shit that's massive. Oh, oh you've got a beam up weapon as well. Uh, I'm sort of beaming up. Okay. And I died. Right, still one to continue. <laughs> and lost a life immediately. We've got a time bonus something. Wow. Okay, that's pretty. I like that. Well, this is um, sort of a bit like Mars Matrix. That's what it reminds me of. Mars Matrix mixed with um, um, Shin Ryu. Machine, I don't know, I get a lot of these holy crap, what's up with the rice balls a lot of these um, vertically scrolling shoot them up mixed up I've got a few of them on PS2 maybe I should do that PS2 up the scrolling shoot them up video that I've been putting off for a long time mind you some of them were covered on me when I did the uh, psycho shooting collection videos for the Switch yeah, this is good fun. That fun will last much longer. Oh yeah, that's not the Jedi get get out of jail free card. I thought it was the uh, spinning attack thing.
strange space for the monges. And a very, very big spinning boss thing. That's pretty impressive. We're gonna die any second. Uh, ooh, Christ! Oh wow! Not sure what happened there. And oh, no, do you know? What? I thought that was it. That was the, the end. Oh, there you go. There's the end for me. So yeah, that's mad. Very intense. Uh, so night raid uh, good stuff but very very intense so there was four more playstation one shoot them up i'm running out of uh, ideas for these so uh, if you've got any please comment below yeah subscribe or naff off